Good morning, good morning, JD Nigel, Word of Truth. Bible teaching with Jeff Deloach. That's my real name. Some will come and some will go. Some will come and some will go. Beautiful Huntington Beach, California, world famous. Surf City. Yep. Good morning. This is number four for today. One short one at the beginning. It cut me off. I think I'm going to roll down the window because it's not that. I hope that. <laughs> All right. Um, Word of Truth, J.D. Nigel, Heavenly Father, bless this message. We we're talking about the prophets. Lord, tell us about your prophets. Tell us the difference between a false prophet and a true prophet, one of yours, between one that's not yours, one you didn't send. Who, has you, who have you sent? Who's on the payroll, Lord? Who's in under contract? We want to know the truth. We want to know the word of truth. We don't want to be led astray. We want to enter into your kingdom with force. We want to bust down the door and come in to your, to your presence. Heavenly Father, through your son Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us, that we put all our trust in. We love you. We exalt you. We praise you. We lift you up. We, we bow down before you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Amen. Let's get it right, people. So we're talking about these false prophets, these false dreamers, these vain talkers, these. Oh. So we went through it and I'm gonna read the commentary so we can get a clear understanding about what Jeremiah is trying to tell these wicked motherfuckers these false prophets these liars these deceivers these vain talkers these punks um um although god is often revealed in the old testament as at hand he's at hand who's Whose son of my right hand? Who's at hand? Whose name means son of my right hand? Who's my right hand man? Of all the tribes, of all the tribes, of all the sons of Jacob, who is God's right hand man? Benjamin. Benjamin means son of my right hand. He is the right hand man. That's why I don't talk bad on Judas Iscariot. I don't talk bad on Satan. I don't talk bad on the angelic host. These are my brothers. I'm, I'm of these fucking angels, of these fallen angels. Get over it. That's why I have the power to tell you these things. What what did his mother Rachel name him? People, does anyone know? What was what was the name that was given to Benjamin by his mom before Jacob changed it to son of my right hand, Benjamin? His name was Benoni. Means son of my sorrow. What does it say about Jeremiah? He's the he's the crying prophet. He's the he's the sorrowing prophet. What is sorrow? Sorrow is knowing the truth. It's better to go into the house of sorrow than the house of mirth. We can go on and on and on. I know this Bible like the back of my hand. What do you want to know? How can I, how can I help you? Um, the God is a God at hand. 
i.e. nearer eminent in earth's activities, and especially in relation to Israel's worship. Especially in relation to Israel's worship. Isaiah 65, 5. Or in the experience of those who are his own. What did he tell me? You're one of mine. When he told me I was a Benjamin, he said, you're one of mine. Can I escape that? Nope. Can I deny that? I could try. He'd probably take me out in a second. You're not my God, Yahweh. I, uh, he turned me around. I fell into Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That didn't work out too well. He had to turn me around. Let me continue. Um, the remark here stresses that God's nearness to his people is not to be taken as a mere confession with no reality in their lives. It's true. It's real. I'm the real deal. Son of my right hand. One who sovereignly directs the affairs of the earth's history in accordance with his wise and holy purposes. And then it has all kinds of references, Daniel, Psalms, Isaiah. God longs to draw near to his people, but his presence is not to be taken for granted, nor can he be manipulated for selfish gain. Sound like anyone you know? GMS, Sakari, IUIC, Joyce Myers, Creflo Dollar, TD Snakes. The Old Testament God usually spoke to his servants directly. Or in a vision, God did at times use dreams to reveal his will to his own. The reason you know that some of these dreamers are talking nonsense is because they, they're not Israel. They're not Christians of the right persuasion. They're lost in their, they're lost in the teachings they've been taught by these seminary students. Um, God did at times use dreams to reveal his will to his own, especially to equip his servants who would labor in foreign cultures where dreams and interpretations were regarded as particularly important, i.e. Joseph, Genesis 37, 5 through 11. That's where Joseph got the technicolor dream curl. Why? Because he's the son of Rachel. Jo the northern tribes are more visions and the southern Judah Benjamin is more direct word from the Lord. That's why it says other cultures, the northern tribes were went to were spread out everywhere. The Hebrew word translated burden can also mean oracle, coming from a root meaning to lift up. It signifies that which God places upon the prophet's heart to bear. What am I doing? I'm bearing the words of the Lord. I'm speaking the words of truth against all odds, against all fucking wicked fucking motherfuckers out here talking nonsense. I'm trying to break through. Break on through to the other side. Break on through. Break on through. Break on through. Yo! <laughs> the doors. That's, um, what's his name? The FBI agent. Um, anyway. Um, burden. Burden. It signifies that which God places on the prophet's heart to bear. Its message may either be one of judgment or a promise there is a word and thought play here apparently Jerusalem's false prophets made a charade of this word chiding Jeremiah as to the burden of the day in the Lord's reply the Hebrew text literally leads what burden 
So what 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 do we see? We see these Hebrew black Hebrew Israelites clowning. They're they're talking shit. They're clowning. They're they're being just punk ass little bitches. And they're fighting with each other. They're fighting with the world. They're fighting with the white man. They're fighting with the pastors. They're fighting with vocab alone. They're fighting each other on the street. They're yelling at people. They're causing all kinds of dissension, anger, bullshit, period. The ancient Greek and Latin versions render this phrase, you are the burden. In either case, the Lord goes on to tell the false prophets plainly that they are to stop claiming that they speak the burden of the Lord. They will find their own words to be a burden too heavy to bear, and God will, in turn, cast them off as a burden that he will no longer carry. These guys are... What do you think happened to Mus um, King David, Matthias? He wasn't going to put up with him calling himself King David for much longer. He fell into his own vain imagination. I love the guy. He's a good Bible teacher. He needed to be a little more careful. He was a little too full of himself. So then it talks about the two baskets of figs. And the restoration, the next page, Jeremiah, we're still in the right-hand man. Let me see what I got. Let me get this as best I can. The Lord showed me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before me. I've talked about this before. GMS is trying to sell you a basket full of rotten figs. There's good figs. There's bad figs. You're over here. You're getting good fruit. It may not taste as good as the, the rotten figs. The rotten figs, you're like, that tastes good. I like it. The good fruit doesn't always taste as good. It hits your stomach. And it gives you the truth. Um, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of the Lord. After that, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away captive Jeconiah, which was Ze Ze Zedekiah. That was his other name, Coniah. Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah and princes of Judah, with the carpenters and smiths from Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babylon. That's Judah Benjamin. Those are the carpenters the smiths where we make things happen we're building the temple he carried us away with zedekiah get that straight there's only certain people that were of the babylonian when you when you go to nehemiah and they come back to build the temple those are these people the ones of judah and benjamin the ones that stayed home the ones that didn't go with the northern tribes with um what was that fucker's name? I forget the two... The two kings of jo Solomon that split up. Can't remember everything. Anyway, I didn't know we were going to go here. I would have... The Lord would have probably put that on my heart. Who were the... Who were those kings? One of the kings went up to the north and started dancing around idols and setting up altars in the high places and doing all kinds of wickedness, witchcraft. But um, Judah and Benjamin and Simeon and some of these people stayed around Jerusalem. And that's when the Babylonians came in and drug them out of there. And that's those are my people. Judah. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that were first ripe. That's me, first fruits. Been here forever. Fallen angel, sent over and over again. I can say the same things. It is what it is. Get over it. Giant, renowned Israelite. One basket had good figs, even like they of the first ripe, first fruits. And the other basket had very naughty figs. Naughty, 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 Gabar, you wicked little fucking nigga. Tahar, Creflo Dollar, Joyce Myers, you fucking bitch. You female dog, you. You're twisting the word of the Lord to your own bullshit. 
They, they were very naughty and could not be eaten. They were so bad. Then said the Lord unto me, What do you see, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs. The good figs, very good. And the evil, very evil. That cannot be eaten. They are so evil. See what it says? Bad. Bad, 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 bad. Evil figs. Bad, bad fruit. So then it goes into the restoration, and I'm going to get you some stuff here. Uh, see if I can get this. Um, blessings and restoration. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, Like these good figs, so I will acknowledge them that are carried away captive of Judah. See what I'm saying? The rest of the Israelites... Very questionable. Whom I have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans for their good. When it says there, this this is this is how we this is how I restore myself. I was sent, I was cast down, I was cast out. Fallen angel. Cast down with these other angels. Some of these guys, I don't get into what they're doing. I don't know if, if Gabar and these guys are fallen angels too. They don't call they don't claim it, so I don't know if they are or not. They're they don't they don't claim their own heritage. How can they be prophets of Judah? See what it's saying right here? Do you understand? Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, like these good figs, so I will acknowledge them. I will regard them we i are we are renowned we have the lord's regard regard me Re give me some fucking respect i'm in high regard to the lord do you understand i will regard them that are carried away captive of judah who i have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans for their good. What's the land of the Chaldeans? That's where all these witchcraft motherfuckers are at. These devils, these fucking sorcerers, these wizards. The Chaldeans were these earthly fucking demons that are playing games with words. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, these Phoenician fucking devils. These ones that built the Tower of Babel. Because all they do is babble a bunch of bullshit. Blah, 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 Tahar, you fucker. Gabar, you... Ugh. For I will set my eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again into this land. That's regeneration. I am coming back and back. I will bring... The Lord said, I will bring them again and again and again. And the word of the Lord came upon me again and again. Tomorrow, the next day, the word will come upon me again. I'll keep coming coming back, coming back. I will always be close to the Lord. I will always have his words in my mouth. I will always have his heart in my heart. We're twain together. I will bring them again to this land and I will build them and not pull them down and I will plant them and not pluck them up. What's the word plucked up, people? That's rapture. Pucked up, snatched up, ripped out. He's not ripping me out of here. And anyone that's going harpazo, going rapture, you've got the wrong interpretation mixed up with vain imagination. Knock it off. I don't know who I dislike more, these black Hebrew ignorites or these harpazo fucking baby coward bitch Christian fuckheads. That are leading you astray. I will not pluck. I am not getting snatched up. Look it up. Arpazzo plucked up. Ripped out. Snatched up. It's not what people think. Believe me. I will give them. 
I will build them up and not pull them down. I will plant them and not pluck them up. I will give them a heart to know me. That I am the Lord and they shall be my people. And I will be their God for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. Do you think I'm fucking around? Do you think I'm fucking around? Come on, family. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. If you wandered on this channel, thanks for being here. Bible teaching. Real Bible teaching with a real prophet. Could you believe it? And as the evil figs which cannot be eaten, they are so evil, surely, said the Lord, so will I give Zedekiah, the king of Judah, and his princes, and the residue of Jerusalem that remain in this land, and them that dwell in the land of Egypt, I will deliver them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth for their hurt, to be a reproach and a proverb and a taunt and a curse in all places whither I shall drive them. What does GMS say? We're everywhere. We're all over there. We have, we have GMS all over. They're wicked, dirty figs. They're selling you dirty, beaten up, fucking rot, rotten fruit. I will send these rotten ass fucking prophets all over the world because they're going to just they're going to draw all the other wicked, dirty scumbags that eat bad fruit. They're going to draw them into this cult or they're going to draw them into. That's why we have worldwide Bible churches, so-called Bible churches, Catholic churches. Why are they all over the world? Because they've spread this disease of false doctrine everywhere. And I'm not speaking for myself. I'm speaking for the Lord. They will be a reproach, a proverb, a taunt, a curse. In all the places where, whether I shall drive them. Why does, why does GMS always talk about Israel scattered all over the world? Because they're talking about their demon brothers. They're talking about an Israel that's dark. They're bad figs. They're bad fruit. They're dirty, rotten, fucking punk ass bitches that are trying to lead people astray. And I will send the sword, the famine, the pestilence among them till they are consumed from the land that I gave unto them and to their fathers. Judah ignores warnings of the prophets. So what are we, what are we doing? We're still talking about the same story. People, shit talkers versus truth talkers. Spitting fucking fury out of my mouth right now. The word of the Lord came to Jer Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah. Now he's talking about the difference between us and them. Josiah is Jesus Christ. He's one of the Christophanies. He was... He's an example. Josiah, king of Judah. That's my king. Josiah. That's king, that's king Solomon. That's king Jesus. That's Jesus Christ. That's Solomon. That's Josiah. That's Zerubbabel, the governor. He's King of Judah, that was the first year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. That which Jeremiah the prophet spoke to all the people of Judah and to all the habits of Jerusalem, saying, so on and so forth. The Lord has sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them. And then I'm going to close out because I've done this a hundred times. What's the blessing on to Benjamin from his father, Jacob? Benjamin is like a ravenous wolf. He rises early, hunts at noon, and brings home the spoil in the evening. In other words, Benjamin, you have been here from the beginning. You've always risen up early. You're always the one talking the truth. You're going to fucking hunt these niggas at noon. You're going to fucking put them in the traps. And by the evening, you're going to be plucking them out and fucking eating the flesh of their fucking wicked bodies and feeding them to the birds 
That's what it's talking about. I have sent my fallen angels. They, I've cast them down to do a job. They're, they're in prison. They're in bonds. They're prisoners of my word. They can't do anything other than what I tell them. I've sent you all the servants and prophets rising early and sending them, but you have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. They said, turn ye again now, everyone from his evil way, from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord has given you, and you and your fathers forever and ever. Stop it. Stop it, Kabar. Stop it, Tahar. Stop it, Aramlop. Stop it, Joyce Myers. Stop it, Creflo Dollar. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, Tony Baloney Williams, Street Minister for Christ. Stop it, Big Judah. Stop it. I tell them all the time, stop. You guys are making, you guys are evil. And not go after other gods, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to serve them. Or to worship them and provoke me to anger with the works of your hand and I will do you no hurt. Stop it before he fucks you up, Big Judah. Big Judah, you are one wicked motherfucker, man. You, you, yet, no matter how many times J.D. Nyjah tells you, goes on your comment boards, tells you to knock it off, stop it. Yet you have not hearkened unto me, said the Lord, that you might provoke me to anger with the works of your hand to your own hurt. Does he say it twice? You guys are going to get fucked. Big Judah, you're fucked. Tahar, you're fucked. You're not listening to me. I'm trying to straighten you out. You believers, thanks for being here. You guys are blessed. Follow me. I'm not bullshitting. I'm not fucking around. Don't believe rapture. Don't believe globe earth. Don't believe dinosaurs. Don't believe the Gentiles can't make it. Don't believe that, you, you, that God's going to prosper you and give you a bunch of money if you go tithe. Don't believe it. Believe in the word of truth, the Bible. The one and only guide, provider, the only one that's going to profit you is to die to your Lord Jesus Christ, period. Speak his word, speak it in truth, and speak it boldly to hell with these fuckers, man. They're going to get destroyed. Fuck them. I try. I'm, I've got the authority to tell them, but they don't even hear me. And what's it going to do? It's going to cause them lots of hurt. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Subscribe if you want to hear true Bible teaching from a prophet of the Lord. One of his, of Judah, of Benjamin, the right-hand man, the one with the grain, the one with the bread. The one that's sorrowing for this funky, funky place full of fucking weirdos, demons, zombies, brain-dead monkey brains. False prophets, vain imagination dreamers. Come out of her. I love you, believers. I love you, Israel, you poor bastards. Chosen. <laughs> I'll call I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Be blessed. Meditate on his word. I love you. I'm out.